All right, thank you for joining in. This is Dr. Solomon Butler, and this is my Sound Doctrine show. And I have two very special, powerful guests with me today that's going to be with us. We are so happy to want to express our felicitations to Prophet Terry Gilliam of the Union Philadelphia Baptist Church, one of our strong prophet lead servants at our church. And then I have guests in turn, soon to be uh, Dr. Jerry Qualls, Pastor Jerry Qualls, who is an intern for his doctorates, and it's going to be coming up pretty soon. We're going to be talking about that, yes. where you're going to get your doctorate. And we got some very interesting conversation we're going to be sharing today. I'm going to be answering questions uh, on my Sound Doctrine show. This show is dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's because of him, it's not because of me. I deny myself. And I uh, put God first, Matthew 6, 33. Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And Lord, I need you to add billions so we can get your word across the country. I know right now that we're in about 20 million homes being on YouTube all over the country, but we're going to leave numbers where you can call in if you want to be a blessing to Sound Doctrine Ministry. You can dial me at 618. 410-3966, you will be talking to Dr. Solomon Butler, yours truly. If you would like to mail donations, make it out to Union Full Gospel Baptist Church, 2402 Tudor Avenue, East St. Louis, Illinois, and you make the check out to Union Full Gospel Baptist Church. If you like to donate, it goes to the church, and we give it to the church. So I'm the pastor. I'm the senior pastor at the Union Full Gospel Baptist Church. It was truly Dr. Solomon Butler. This is my Sound Doctrine show. I'm getting ready to get it started. Okay. Amen. The Amen. first thing Amen. we're going to talk about tonight, Prophet, is we're going to talk about uh, what's going on with the uh, police officers down yes. in Memphis, yes. Dr. Uh, Paul. Yes. And uh, yes. sister, Prophet Gilliam, will you give me what you think should happen? Oh Lord, I shouldn't actually. That. What you think should <laughs> should happen to the police officer? Did you first of all? Did you see the video? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, I the video. Could you tell me what you feel? And I was very disappointed to explain. see our people doing that to our own people. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have boys, right, and right. I won't want that down to my child. You know, and I feel that their family need to see some kind of justice and they need to do some time. You know, yes, I can't yes. be in my flesh because I would want them to have the same done mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. than what they did to him. Right. But we're going to let the law handle them. There you go. Right. And let God work miracles for that family that they see justice. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. Paul, what do you think about these? Did, did you see the video? I saw the video. Oh, tell me what you think about it. It was heart wrenching. Yes. Um, morally disturbing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two sons. And all I could but do, God forbid, but think, what if? Mm -hmm. Tyree Nichols. What if it had not been him, but one of my two sons? Mm -hmm. um, I just could not watch it. You couldn't watch the video? Uh, I, I, mm -hmm. When I saw the commencement of the beating, it was so heartbreaking to the point that I had to turn the television off mm -hmm. and I went to work on my uh, paper dissertation yeah mm -hmm. my dissertation and I just I just could not watch it mm -hmm. to to disturb it I I have I thought I was bothered by the late George Floyd this cut the cake. This, this was a modern day lynching 
by our own own brothers, people. own people. It 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 is bad to be by someone else of another ethnicity, but by your own brothers. Uh, and I constantly ask myself, why? Uh, yeah. Now, Dr. Quarles, I want you to tell us, what do you think? I'm talking about you now. She right. told me what she said, what she said, she's gonna be nice about it. Right. What do you think should happen to these officers that is on video all over the world. What do you think should happen to them? I I I, I think personally uh -oh. Uh -oh. skip <laughs> the trial. Oh, Dr. Claus. <laughs> and put the suits on. Are you serious? Skip the trial and me immediately put the jumpsuits on. No and, trial. And, and no trial, no trial. He said uh, no trial. No <laughs> trial, no trial. I know America has this trial system, mm -hmm. but the jury is the world. Right. The jury has spoken. The video. Need we more Which to hear money. or right. say? Right. Okay. Uh, they should be punished with the full extent right. of the law. And for them to receive, if not more, the same that they distributed mm -hmm. to our brother Tyree uh, Nichols. Yeah, let them feel the pain. Uh, obliterate, deny them their pension. Mm -hmm. Anything that would benefit them financially uh, rob them of that. Rob them of that. Now, late, now this is Sound Doctor and TV show. I am yours truly, Doctor Solomon. But you heard from the prophet. You heard from Doctor Pastor Quarl. Now you're going to hear from me, which I'm going to tell you what God said <laughs> and what God said should happen to them is found in Psalms 37 and two. Let me recapitulate. Psalms 37 and two. These are the words of Jesus Christ. For they shall be cut down like the bread. Hello. Okay. Hi. Amen. Hi. Hi. Say that. Hi. God said that. Hi, you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. Just because you're my friend, you might not be my kin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody missed that. Right. You One may more be time. One more time. Just because you befriend me, you might not be kidding me. Right. Okay. We might not be kin. You, you, you ain't showing your truth. You showing your color. And I don't have a problem. I don't care what office it is. It could be black. It could be white. It could be red or green. Now, that, that's Pluto. But I'm just saying. <laughs> You, the law is the law. And I, I said this tonight, and I'm doing it live on air. You all getting it live. Dr. Quarles and Prophet, you're going to hear this. As of today, what's today's date? 30th. Uh, yeah, the 30th. January the 30th, presiding Bishop Dr. Solomon Butler, PhD, THD, and HDD, I am going to pursue the law being changed, and we're going to have a wrongful death citizen, innocent, wait a minute, innocent citizen, wrongful death law based on the Bible, yes, according yes. to Genesis 9 and 6. It says, if you shed blood wrongfully, then you should die. Hello, police officer. Amen. We're going to implement God. I'm going to push it because I don't want to get to heaven. And God said, yeah, I gave no an assignment to do. I gave Moses assignment to do. But Butler, what did you do with the gift I gave Question, you? question. Amen. What did you do? What did you do while you were on earth? You know the laws of the Bible. I want a law put out there, and I want you to push it, and people that love you will get behind it. If you police officer, look at me real good, sir. <laughs> if you kill wrongfully an innocent person, then you should die. Amen. 
Mercy, mercy, mercy. Genesis 9 and 6 said, if you shed a man's blood wrongfully, you should die. Mm, mm. You reap what you sow. Galatians 6 and 7. I am going to do, it's going to be called the Cain and Abel. Innocent bloodshed law that I'm going to try to implement and get it done before this year is out. I'm going all the way with it. A police officer kills somebody wrongfully, then he should die. Now, yes. when a police officer know that that law has been pushed through Congress, right. before he pull that trigger or hit he, somebody, he think he'll think about twice. it. One more time. One more time. Let me recapitulate. Recapitulate. If an officer knew that if I kill this person wrongfully, yeah. I'm going to die. His wife going to tell him, now look, honey, you could be sued and you could die. We don't want to lose our house. Uh, right, right. We, <laughs> and you, you got to come back home to me. Now, be, be careful out there. The wife will start talking. Hey, if the kids will be dead. You be careful now because they put that law out there by messing with the people. Right. And if you kill somebody <laughs> instantly, the Bible say you should be killed. Right. I'm going to have the kids and everybody talking. I'm going to get a uh, 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 prophet and doctor, I promise you, I'm gonna get this law done. And he was standing right behind you. And, and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Martin Luther King, God bless his soul, I'm one of his sons of thunder. I'm one of his sons of thunder. Let me tell you. Martin Luther King said this. Right. We can march all day long, but until these laws are changed, we're gonna still be in the right. same boat. Hello. You gotta yeah. change the law. I, I, to. I'm with the National <laughs> Action I Network, love. Reverend Al Sharpton. I'm one of the members of Action Network in New York. I'm one of his members, and I believe in Reverend Al Sharpton. He going to fight and take a stand. I'm one of his members in East St. Louis, Dr. Butler. Yes, I belong to the Action Network, Reverend Al Sharpton. Right. And Reverend Al Sharpton don't care what color you are, he want justice. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we it all be want just us. <laughs> okay. Oh, it will be just us. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> He's right about that. Right. <laughs> I was watching the Planet of the Apes. Oh, my God. And even the ape said, ape don't kill ape. Well, Blacks, you need to catch oh. on. Oh. Blacks, you need to catch on. Because there's some color saying, I'm glad they are killing each other. Save us a kill. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, this is sound, doctor. We just call a spade a spade. Those of you who are getting offended, well, you get over it, okay? Because I'm tired of seeing us get killed for nothing. Right. Innocent young man, works for FedEx, Christian man, no criminal record, done nothing wrong. You're going to pull him out of the car and beat him down. I got a problem with that. Serious problem. And then he calls for his mama. Problem. Then he My gets on the phone, problem. just like Flo, which is Floyd tried to call his mother. Yes, you yes. call the person that's close to you. He's trying to call mama, mama. Yes. Now, let me go another route because, see, some of y'all don't like me nowhere. It, trust me, you'll get over it because I know I lost a friend, <laughs> Lily, January. I lost a friend, and he fixed on my car, and I just found out he paid. It hurt me so bad. And I know one day I have to go. But I'm going to say what I have to do. I'm going to do the things he called me to do right, right. before I leave here. Right. And I'm going to tell y'all, a person that don't stand for something will fall for anything. Anything. Yes, anything. Yes. You got to have a backbone and a jawbone. You can't have no yellow streak going up your back. Bristle back. <laughs> <laughs> oh Be a man and take a stand. Right. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Duncan, I'm going to get this law passed. I'm going to work on it this year. I'm going to go to Congress. They can turn me down, but I'm going to say, Lord, I tried. I did what you told me to do about a law that will make that police officer think before he put his hands on the citizen. Right, right. We're not in a third world country. We're not. I just call the spade a spade. Y'all have to look on me. Oh, by the way, Pastor, I don't mind telling everybody this. Pastor Butler is concealed and carry. Right, right. Ecclesiastes 3 and 3 said it's a time to kill. I married this woman. You walk up on her. It's a time to kill. <laughs> man that don't protect his family is not a man. That's a boy. Right. Okay. Right, right. One if time. a time to kill is not in the Bible, my address, 24022, 
East St. Louis, Illinois, 62207. If a time to kill is not in the Bible, Ecclesiastes 3 and 3, I'll mail you a thousand dollar cash. I'll put <laughs> in the money on it. <laughs> he said it's a time to kill. You don't believe me? Go ask Goliath. Right. Is, right. Goli is Goliath still here? No. What happened to <laughs> what happened to him? David. He didn't kill him, did he? he, took him out. It is a time to kill a butler. <laughs> is it a time to kill? Time to kill. That's what the book says. Mm -hmm. You got to protect yourself. My pastor, my pastor that's over me, Dr. Moore, and his wife, Dr. Moore, Leslie Moore, they have a concealed and carry clad. My pastor made sure. Pastor, you got a limousine business. You got this going on. You're going to need some protection. We know we got God, but you're going to have to protect yourself because you, these people are crazy out here. Do you agree that they're crazy out here? Brother? I Super agree. Crazy. Oh, I agree. It has escalated. It, it, it is getting worse. Well, they, but they tell me, Reverend Butler, you stupid. You, you're a man of God. You don't need concealed and carry. I said, okay, when a situation comes, a gun is full. One of us going to die, but we, we may end up dying together. Right. right. Because God hold me responsible to protect me and my family. Am I, am I right? You're right. You're, you're, you're right. right. You're, you're right. You're right, right. You're right. You're right, doctor. You can't even step up best the door be, or something uh, happens. Best to be uh, judged by 12. <laughs> they care about by six. six. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yeah. It is best to be judged by 12 yes. than to be carried head first by six. Shut up, Q. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Q. <laughs> One of the other issues that we wanted to talk about is abortion. Yes, sir. Now, do you feel that you should abort a baby? I'm, I'm going to start with Q first. What do you think about my aborting baby? You know, you lay with John for the first time, and he got you pregnant, got her pregnant. She should go ahead and just get a divorce. What do you think about that, Q? Um, scripturally, uh -oh. God told Jeremiah, and we can argue all day, when does life begin? Uh, it is strange to me when a woman becomes pregnant and a man tries to rob or hurt her. He uses the phrase he tried to hurt my baby. Hmm. But when she does not want the baby, the baby is referred to as an it. Uh -oh. But God told Jeremiah, I knew you before oh. I formed you in your mother's womb. Ooh. You were already existing but you had not made your physical arrival out of that darkness of the womb. Mm -hmm. So life is in the blood. Uh -oh. If the baby has blood, the baby has life. You do not carry a dead baby at birth. Mm -hmm. You are carrying life. So we can come up with excuses of what if the mother was raped? What is the mother? Well, she is still carrying life. Do you make the baby suffer because if you play and you lay, you want the baby to pay? Go on, Mama. One, one, one more time. You do not play uh -oh. and lay and make the baby pay. pay. Mm -hmm. Why should the baby pay with all of these contraceptives on the market? You knew in the heat of the moment mm. the possibility of having becoming impregnated. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Amen. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, somebody. That yeah. is powerful what he said. Right, right. 
and you know you got all, like you said kind of condoms all that kind of stuff <laughs> right right you got all that out there to protect you from having a baby no like, plant what are you doing? What are you planting? In, in, in the birth control, birth control yeah. pills, no plant. Not for a man, is it? No. Oh. They're coming up with pills for a man. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Well, Evangelist, tell us what you think about pregnant, uh, having a baby, abortion, and what, what they think about it, and what you think. Well, I understand where you come from right. on that, and I agree with that. Right. But at the same time, if I have been raped by someone I don't know and just grabbed me from behind and did these things to me, no, I wouldn't want the baby. Because that's when the baby would suffer. Because that's what's come along that was unexpected. Ooh. You see what I'm saying? Uh -oh. So uh -oh. it's a lot of women that that have been done to them yeah. and they have to they give the baby up. Okay. Adoption. Or they can't, right, Adoption and they cannot be an alternative. Right. look at that child because right. it's looking like the person who did harm them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you have to look at it both ways, you know, and understand the circumstance of the situation that mm -hmm. what's going on because, no, if you lay down and y'all playing, you know, and it's a lot of women's young girls out here are sleeping around mm -hmm. and having all these kids, mm -hmm. you know, saying that they don't know who the daddy is. Mm -hmm then no, you shouldn't have a boy. Uh -oh. But when it comes to being raped by a crazy psycho person that is a uh, molester, that he raping kids and women, and they killing them, and they pregnant, some of them be dead with a baby, you know, in them still. No, they shouldn't have to suffer and deal with that. That should be their choice. You see what I'm saying? And if they want to give it up for abortion, then let them make their own decision. The state, no one shouldn't have to make no decision for no one because they didn't suffer that. They didn't deal with that. They didn't go by that. But see, that's our opinion. But the Bible says, uh -oh. Exodus 20, and I'm going to let the red <laughs> explain that to you in more detail. Is, wait a minute, hold on. Is she bad? She, she said, bad. let me pass the baton. Exodus, pass the let me help y'all out. Let me, <laughs> let me get a little closer to the mic. See, see. I am 50 something years old. I ain't gonna tell you what my age is, bro. <laughs> I don't have any children. I was not going to be a statistic on this earth of out here having 13, 14 babies, and Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he left his hat was his home. Yeah, okay. right, right, right. Exodus 20 said, now I'm a little slow. Y'all have to help me out. I'm a little slow. <laughs> it said, Thou shall not kill. Explain that to me, both of y'all. I'm listening. Because the baby is in his inside. You're going to kill it with abortion. But God said, thou shall not kill. Yeah. I'm pro-Jesus. I ain't pro-choice. I'm going to do what Jesus said. Don't kill it. You just sit there and lay it in heaven. Go on and have it. Bring it on. Be fruitful and multiply. But we got to, uh -oh, now, now y'all going to really get mad at the past, but I don't care. You'll get over it. <laughs> We got a lot of bad. We got a lot of <laughs> bastard children out yes. here. One more time. We have a lot of bastard children because of fornication and because of you fornicating, you cannot enter into heaven. Revelations are 20 and 8. You cannot enter into heaven for fornication or homosexuality. You cannot enter into heaven. Revelations 21 and 8. Leviticus 18.22. Oh, we can go with it. Come on with it. Put your gloves on. Put, you'll take them off in a minute because you're going to have a black eye when I get through. Right. Uh, uh, Leviticus 20.13. You cannot enter in heaven being a fornicator, being an adulteress. Why you say that, Reverend? Because the Bible said unless you deliver from those things, you cannot enter into heaven. Yeah, you need to get me on CNN. It'll be a wrecked place when I get through because I'm going to tell you what God said. I'm going to give you sound doctrine. I'm going to give you the truth. Ain't such thing as killing babies. Let me go back. Let me go back, Dr. Q. All right, go back. Go Jesus back. Christ, they had to hide him and get him out of town because they were killing. Herod had found out that a king was going to be gone, born. They wow. killed thousands of babies to try to find him. 
Yeah, I remember that. I remember, yes. remember reading that. Moses! They found out that Moses was going to lead the people. They sent out a decree to kill all the babies, and this is where adoption came from. They put him in a little basket and put him on the water, and some lady was praying for a child that she could not have, and she found Moses. That's where adoption came from. Oh, deep, 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 give me five. Deep. You give me five later, boo boo. <laughs> adoption, adopt the child, take the child in, raise it up, take care of it, and then you might be raising up a shack. And if you raise up a shack, he'll be your shade tree. Amen. <laughs> <Say that. laughs> the seed that you plant today may be your shade tree tomorrow. Right. Oh, Amen. shack mothers are happy lady. Because <laughs> she had shack. Right. And shack. Right. One thing I'll say about you, Shaq, you take care of your family, man. I, I respect that of you, yes. and I thank God for you. If you can hear me, this is Dr. Butler telling you. I think, oh, by the way, Shaq, I don't want no money. I don't need no money. No, no, no. Don't send me nothing. I just want to encourage you. Why is it always when you encourage somebody, somebody looking for something? I ain't look. God taking care of me. Right, right, okay. right. See, those of you who hate me, it's okay. You'll get over it. <laughs> because the Bible says you shall be hated for his name say yeah yes. Matthew 10 22 we gotta have people that's not that's why he called her to be a prophet that's why he called her, him to be a pastor that's not scared to tell the truth right mm -hmm. I wish you would put me on hell and show I'd be glad to get on that <laughs> they, they're not gonna do that right. why because the devil is the prince and power of the air Ephesians 2 and 2. He yes. controls the airway. That's why you all you see all this homosexual stuff on TV now, and they're trying to get our kids to accept homosexuality. Real talk about oh, that, dog. Oh. Talk yeah, about that. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, uh, obviously we did not have all of this type of social media technology. Uh, I would cheer you. We were sheltered from a lot of this stuff. Now, Satan is putting it directly in your face through social media. Uh, nothing is safe anymore as, as, as in, in terms of uh, pornography. They're putting it in music. They're putting it in movies all right and uh money mm. is a motivating factor look at it uh how we are females are loosely um living uh parading themselves and gyrating themselves all on social media our children mm. are watching you uh, mm. 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 movies all on their cell phone uh, and Satan knows what he is doing uh, even with social media uh, our children more know more about sex than they are taught about the Savior one more time we they know more about, about sex, sex than the Savior, than the savior. Mm. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad, it's sad. my brother. And, and 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 America, you can lose your soul so easy, so easily in America. <laughs> well, well, now wait a minute. Hold on. This this is what bothered me, Prophet and, and Doctor Coyle. This bothers me. We don't want y'all saying nothing about Jesus on TV. Shut it off. Cut it off. Don't say nothing about Jesus. What what's going on with that? But they can say something about homosexuals. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you want Barabbas or you want Jesus? Right, that is the question. You want evil or you want good? How many of y'all out there agree with evil? You looking right at me. I'm evil on evil. I'm good on good. Some of y'all will get that tomorrow. It, just, it ain't ready to get. I'm going to be evil on evil. I'm going to be good on good. In other words, I'm going to tell you what's right. Right, right. John 8 32 say you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now here's the deal. We are, we, Duncan, uh, Dr. Qualls, Prophet Gilliam, Solomon Buller is making a difference 
in people's lives because we live what we talk about. We're not up here shucking and driving. We play, we were real with God. And right. some some of you churches, yes, Baptist, Church of God in Christ, uh uh, uh Methodist, Lutheran, uh-huh. All y'all got a problem with me because I'm telling the truth. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna be Rudolph. <laughs> And God gonna be Santa Claus. I'm gonna lead the slate because God leads me. Days though I walk through the valley of the shallow of what? Yeah. I will what? Fear. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> no, I'm not, look, I'm not from the hood either, but I ain't scared okay. of you. Right, right, right. I'm right, free. Right. No, sir. No, sir. The Bible said when you walk upright, evil will run from you. James 4 7. Resist the devil and he will flee. Fret not right. thyself. Because of evil. What's evil. gonna happen to him? God would cut you down. What do you Man. think about them trying, prophet, to put in the school? Are oh, y'all listening to me? Put in the school homosexuality where the kids are no and, and accept homosexuality. What do you think about that? Hmm. I want to hear from a woman for I yes, you know, sir. you don't yes. you know I y'all think I'm too hard. Um, it's very, very sad, you know, because See, we got to go way back. It starts in the home. Right. And some of these homes have been towed up from the flow up because of uncles, daddies, oui. they're sleeping with their own kids. Oh, and, right. you know, nieces and all. And the mom don't speak up and say nothing about it. And these kids grow up with problems. Hurt. Right. Hurting. They broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they look for love and they spread it amongst their kids. They teach their kids what they was taught. And these kids is from generation after generation of a curse. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. these kids is messed up because their parents mess up and their parents mess them up. You know, so with that being said, they all need some help. They yes, need counsel, yes. they need guidance. You know, and whoever <laughs> passes law with gays. You know, they, they should be, I ain't going to even say that, because they need to be delivered. Deliver, that's it. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to pray for them that's that right. God deliver them go. from loudness to go on where everybody is coming out about what they are, what they've been right. for years, that they've been suffering and hurting over time. And now that they out, they feel relieved. Mm. That the pressure is off of them now that they can be who they want to be when mm. they've been hurt since they was a kid um. from abuse, from uh, being raped, being beat, and all that. And yeah. now yeah. it's coming out where now they got it in schools, you know, changing bathroom. They got their own mm. private bathroom. Lord. You mm. know what I'm saying? If you're a woman, a girl, you go in the women's bathroom. You're a man, a boy, go in the men and boys, right. you know. Stop confusing these kids. Right, right. You know, they confuse because the parents is confused. You know, mm -hmm. so if you need help and you need someone to talk to, please give me a call and I will be gladly to yeah. come and talk to you and yeah. pray with you yeah. and help you through this. You know, because a lot of y'all is kind of scared to come out uh -oh. and say something uh -oh. or Listen speak up on Listen it. Now. You know, I'm not going to bite my tongue. <laughs> Right, right, and I'm gonna right. be right, right, right. cool with you, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let you know up front the real. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And sometimes saying something might hurt, but you'll get over it, mm -hmm. and you will learn from it, and you will understand because it wasn't taught to you when you was growing up. Mm -hmm. You know, construction criticism. If you can't handle that, you're not gonna be able to handle That's no right. one that come to you with anything, not even at work. Yeah. So. With that being said, I pray for you all that is suffering and is going through having problems. You know, I have a car visit for you. You can reach me. You know, you can contact Dr. Bola, and Dr. Bola will let me know mm -hmm. if you need someone to come and talk to you. Yeah, I can right, meet right, you right, at you your go. home. You we can meet somewhere in private. No one would have to know, you know, because I don't discuss people's business. But some of y'all do need some help. And showing half your body, looking for sex, uh -oh. and because uh -oh. you're broken and you're hurting others and making others broken because you're broken. Mm. Seek some help and counseling. That's it. That's it.
No, you, you keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> keep going. See, it's, see, I don't want y'all to think it's just the men. She's saying the same yes. thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, I'm going to let me help you out because, you know, I'm a little lost. I'm going to talk your business. <laughs> I had a young lady house I went to. She was getting ready to marry a woman, holding her hand. I went in there to witness to the lady. And the Lord told me to tell her, young lady, you have a calling on your life. She dropped her head and I was about to cry. And I told her that God got a calling on your life. She looked at the young lady and said, we need to listen to what he's saying. I began to minister to that young lady. I want you to know for 22 years she was gay. Mm. And God delivered her from being gay. And now she's straight and she got a book out. I'm going to tell her business. Yeah. <laughs> she's one of our ministers. Uh, 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 Prophet Regina Garner has a book out. Let go and let God. Yes. A homosexual book to get you delivered. I just told you, you can look it up on me that a homosexual cannot enter into heaven. A fornicator cannot enter yes. into heaven. An adulteress cannot enter into heaven. A drunkard cannot enter into heaven. Reverend Mullins, where's that scripture? I want you to go to Galatians 5. 18 through 21 will explain all the things, witchcraft. You can't, you old witch, you got to get delivered. Right, right, right. <laughs> Talking about you going to make some food for me. Witch, get delivered. Talking about I hope he choked, Lord. As a matter of fact, I don't want everybody praying for me. <laughs> Talking about, Lord, I hope he choking and sleeping and he died. Don't you pray for me no more, you witch. <laughs> get delivered. <laughs> Am I telling the truth? You're, you're yes, telling the telling truth. truth. I want the the Bible says the prayers of the righteous avail it much. I want righteous folk praying for me. Right. Let me call some righteous folk names since y'all since y'all want to get on. I want Bishop Eanes to pray for me. That man is holy. I want uh, 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 Superintendent Keith Gray. I want him to pray for me. That man is holy. He and his wife. These are holy people. Name my God. I want Bishop Mister Clean White. To pray for me. These are holy men of God. Now, why did you call all Church of God Christ? Because I got a roots of Church of God. My mother was, my grandmother was Church of God of Christ, and my daddy was Baptist. So I put it together. That's why I'm full gospel Baptist. I want Bishop Paul S. Martin to pray for me. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he's full gospel Baptist. That's what I am. Mm -hmm. I called to prison. My friend called to prison. He said, "Butler, Butler, come here, Butler. This way, Butler, come here, Butler." <laughs> he said, <laughs> "He said I was in Tulsa with him. He said, Butler, let me tell you something." I said, "What is it called?" You're going to have to study your history and find out who's what and put it together. And that's the way you go. Carl, Bishop Carlton Pearson told me that. And I studied my history. My grandmother was Church of God of Christ, Grandma Amy. My Ashley Miles was on Mama's side, was Baptist. Church of God in Christ, Baptist, full gospel Baptist. Mm. And that's why you go to church. I said, Daddy. We got to change the name of the church. You want me to take over, right? He said, I said, Daddy, you need to don't call it Union Baptist no more. He said, Why not? I explained it to him. He said, Change it Sunday. Wow. He said, I, I didn't never think it like that. Thank you, Carlton Pearson, for helping your friend. And he gave me a word, and I made it to church on the other side for the youth called authentic. Authentic means genuine. Okay. Authentic means the original. See, Jesus is the original. I'm just a carbon copy. Right, right. Somebody get that tomorrow. You, you'll get it on the way to work if it's not snowing. Now, I said all that to say this. This is sound doctrine. We're going to call a spade a spade. You right, may be right. offended, but you will thank us down the road. Right. Oh, There's yeah. a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. I know it seems right. You've been shocking for 24 years. Oh. 24 years, no papers on them. But when he died, you don't get nothing. Nothing. Shacking is not of God. See, I know you don't like me now. I ain't got no friends. Now. You be my friend. Yeah, I, Doctor, friend, you be my, my friend. Brother. Will you be my friend? Yes, I will. Get some papers on the person if yeah. you're going to shack. And he come over and I come over. And look, the God ain't into that. See, it's some stuff that nobody wants to talk about. That's why I talk about stuff that they don't talk about because I'm not caught up in it. Did y'all know that we as righteous people have the right to judge? Yes, sir. Yes. Do I have the right to judge, yes. sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I'm righteous, yes, sir. if I'm not living that life. Right. Go to, go to Proverbs 31.9. 
It says, open thy mouth and judge righteously. We got to have men that's living right so they can talk. Judge what? Righteously. Judge what? Righteously. Yeah. High low. <laughs> <laughs> open your mouth and judge. Yes, I will talk. You can't judge. Yes, I can. Matter of fact, Jesus said the saints going to judge the world. Yes, he said that. I read that. I might be on the panel, so you better be good to me. Now, I'm not. I'm, I'm saying all this to say this. I know what I'm talking about. I'm com I'm not arrogant. I'm confident because I've studied uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto God. Workmen me not be ashamed. I know what I'm talking about. I don't care if you're a bishop. I don't care if you're an apostle. I don't care what you are. You come this way, you better have Bible. Bring me Bible. Now, last thing I'm going to talk about, and that's why I brought her along with me, because I had to say, Yo, you come on out the poor pit with me. And she had no problem with it. Ain't such thing. Look at me real good. Let me, let me look at you, because I want you to hear this good. Nowhere in the Holy Bible will you find a woman bishop. Wow. If you find in my telephone number, it's 618-410-3966. Ain't such thing as no woman bishop or no woman apostle. Stop the lying. It ain't in the book. If you find it, show it to me. Don't come to me with Deborah. Deborah was a judge. Read your book like Judge Judy. That's, that's professional. She was a judge. She was not a preacher. Ain't nowhere in the Bible will you find a woman preaching the gospel and Thousands of people came to the Lord. Find it for me so I can give you a thousand dollars. It's not in the Bible. Not there. Not if it's there. in the Bible, I'm gonna give you a thousand cash. That yeah, you yeah, you preach you're going around telling people you a pastor. What woman pastor? <laughs> name me oh, pastor. Name, oh, oh don't, don't don't make some people mad. Name me I'm one pastor. person, name me <laughs> one woman in the Bible. Right. That was a pastor that led people. Name me one. I you getting ready to get your doctors? You ought to know something. I, I, I cannot find huh? one. I cannot find one. <laughs> there, there's not one there. Not one woman. Not pastor. one. I'm trying to get y'all a thousand apiece. I need that thousand, if you but know I cannot the find. Bible and you've uh -oh. been reading the Bible. You better you watch your mind. Know what you that say? It's not in there. Well, why are these pre 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 women going around talking about? I'm a pastor. I'm an apostle. I'm a. And the scripture says. The qualifications for Ooh. being a pastor, there must be the husband, the man must be the husband of one wife. First the Timothy man, 3 and 4. Say it again. The man must be the husband of one wife. Uh -oh. A woman cannot be a pastor. A woman. Do you see? Wait a minute. Pastor. You see all the women pastors? Cannot be a pastor. But she can. She can be a prophet. Yes. Joel, Joel 20 and 28, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. That's why I call her prophet, not pastor. She can't be no pastor. The Bible right, says right. in John 3 34, I only call men to preach the gospel. Hmm. John what? John 3.34. Yes, sir. The spirit of the Lord is upon that? me. He talking about Jesus. Talking he about a man. Anointed me. me. Talk, was it a man or woman? Was Jesus a man or woman? A man. Okay. He has anointed me to do what? Preach. The what? The gospel. No, a woman. A man. A woman. A man. A woman. A man. <laughs> See, y'all, they've been lying to y'all for you. I apologize to my whole church, didn't I? I said, ladies, y'all come on out the pulpit. They said, why? I said, because I don't need you to assert authority over a man. When I went to Dr. Keith Gray's church, ain't no women up there. All men. Go on over there to eat. All men. They are right. You do not want women asserting authority like a man. And you ain't got no business wearing no man's shoes right. and clothes. Right. Deuteronomy 22 <laughs> and 5. It say a man should not wear women's clothing. Tyler Perry. Don't wear no women's clothing. That's confusing the kids. Right. And right. a and a woman should not be wearing men. men's clothing. Deuteronomy twenty two five. I know you don't like me. I love me. So, let me go. Uh, <laughs> and that's why we have I'll this problem that. now today because a lot of these men's wearing wigs, lipstick, but they make up on stuff better than me. 
right. Right, right. You know, and, and I'd be like, wow, because I'd be thinking they women, but they men. Tight pants. Yes. And uh, no pockets. They get stuff changed, cut off, and everything. <laughs> Look. No back pockets. <laughs> A woman should not wear man's clothing. God said so. Deuteronomy 22, 5. Mm -hmm. See, you, every time you come to me, when you talk to me, you're talking to God because I'm going to say exactly what he God said. Now, if you argue with me, you argue with God. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 14, 38, if a man be stupid, let him be stupid. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it in there? Yeah, I read it. In there. I read I'm not going to argue with you, sir. I'm not going to argue with you, pastor. You caught up in the stuff. That's why you're doing it. Yeah, right. You got to get delivered. You cannot enter into heaven with sin. You got to get rid of the sin. And the only person that can get away and wash away our sin is Jesus. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Come on, Muslim. Come on, Jehovah Witness. Come on. I said Jesus is the only way. Jesus. John 14, 6. I am the way. Yes. The truth and the life. You don't have Jesus. The Bible says you shall, and when you reject Jesus, you don't want him. You're going to be just like Lot's wife. When they was down there in that homosexual city, what happened to Lot's wife? Talk to me, Reverend. God turned, told her not to look back. Wait, 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 wait. Not to look back. What you talking Do about? Not look back because there is danger looking back. Oh. Look forward. He refused to accept God's command. She looked back, and God turned her into a pillar of salt. Frozen. She got killed because she disobeyed God? God killed her. Rebellion is a form of witchcraft. When you don't obey God's man that's anointed, you are practicing witchcraft. 2 Samuel 2.15. Right, right. I told you, you got the right one. Don't come this way if you ain't got no Bible. Now you're wasting your time. Don't bring me your feelings because when God wrote the Bible, he didn't ask for your opinion. Okay. No, sir. Bring me Bible. You don't have a Bible? Y'all stop listening to these folks talking about God called me and she a woman. Don't, don't listen to that. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. The correct title for this young lady is servant. Romans 16, 1, write it down. Romans 16, 1 through 5 explains what a woman minister is, which she, it, it, she's a lead servant. She's a servant. Paul called her a servant of the Lord. Right, right. She is to serve. She is to help me, assist me. God want a man. He want a lion. It's out of order for a woman to assert authority over a man. First Timothy 2.12. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to like me, ma'am. I don't care. I will, I, will, I will get some good sleep tonight. You ain't got to like me. I love me some Solomon because he's telling the truth. And the truth will do what? Set you free. First Corinthians 13, 34. <laughs> let your women learn to be in silence. There it is go. not what? permitted for them to speak. In the church? In the church. Fussing and arguing? In the church? In the church. Be silent. Be silent. No preaching. No preaching. <laughs> but Adam was created first. It was not Adam that was deceived. It was Eve. Oh. Sister Eve. Uh, and then, then, then he, I'm glad you brought that up. Let me take this off because I want you to hear this real good, sweetheart. Genesis 3.16. Because you allow, woman, you allow that snake to trick you, you are cursed. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Genesis 3.16. Write it down. Did you write it down, Reverend? I got it down. When you have a baby in labor, you should have pain. Did you have some kids? Did you have some pain? It wasn't yes. hurting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then he went on to say, and because you did that, woman, the man shall rule over you. If it ain't in there, I will mail you $1,000 cash. The male, the man of God that you choose in your husband, your desire will only be for your husband and not the three you got over there that's paying bills. <laughs> Cause I got one lady told me I got one paid my bill, one paid my car note, one paid this, and they all we we all get along fine, young lady went to school. We all get along fine. They know not to come over here and bother me. We got it going on good. Just as long as I take care of them, they cool with that. Wow. 
so sad. My people are destroyed for a lack so of sad. knowledge. Hosea 4, 6. Every time I open my mouth, it's the Bible. Mm -hmm. So if you argue with me, if a man be foolish, let him be foolish. I'm trying to help somebody. Somebody's listening tonight. You need to get delivered. You need to get to my church. I need to lay hands on you. I need to put some oil on you and cast that spirit off of you so you can get yourself together. Galatians 5 and 22 talks about the laws of the devil. If you do any of these, you cannot enter into heaven. I'm trying to get you to go to heaven because the Bible says in Isaiah 5 and 14 that hell has enlarged itself and pushed the earth back because God don't have enough room to put the souls in hell. Mm. Isaiah 5 and 14. So we got work to do. And Duncan is a member of my church. I'm going to tell the truth. That's why you ain't called me to preach at your church. I don't blame you because when I come in there, I'm finna play no game. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Y'all don't want that. That's why the Bible said they were heaping to themselves. They will pay people to come in and teach a lie. It's in here. Talk about it. I'm in the last day, days, people will have itching ears. What? Itching ears. Tell me something that sounds good, that's smooth. Tell me lies. Yeah. People do, people do not want to know truth. To want to know truth means that you have to make some changes. People are not ready to make changes. Because you're going to mess up their money. You're going to mess up their money. They want to hear the lie. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to mess Did up their money. You mess up their money. That's why they allow this uh, gaze and fornication going on in their church because some of the pastors like that. I'm, I hate to say it, but it's the do truth. Do not hate to say it. And say they it. want that money. So they is not going to teach you right. They're going to cop out whatever they don't see. Joe Losin and everybody else preaching. Right. And there they go preaching uh -huh. and just reword it for your money. Right, right. You right. know, they uh -oh. got the, the gays, they the Ooh, deacon, we. they collecting the money, Ooh, they, they singing, they, they run this whole show. Yes. And if you the pastor of that church, I'm praying that God deliver, deliver you That's because y'all be the first one he casts to the lake of hell. Yeah. Revelations 20 and 10. And the devil that deceived them was picked up and cast into the lake of fire with the false prophets. Okay. If you're not teaching the truth, you're a false prophet. You need to get out of the pulpit, get delivered. Right, right. If you're not teaching, matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all something that they don't teach at church. Second John oh. one and ten said, if they don't bring the word of God, which is Jesus, to you, do not receive them into your house. Right. Yeah. Joe Witness, you can't come to my house. Mm -hmm. You're not bringing the doctrine of Jesus Christ. You bring in the doctrine of Jehovah, which is Jesus. Lord, help them, Jesus. You can't come because you're not bringing the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Y'all wrote y'all own Bible. Right. He right. said, don't add or take away. That's you right. got the right one talking. New World Translation. <laughs> what is it called? New World Translation. New World Translation is not the King James. Go ahead. And that's what one of my friends, she said, you know what told me? What you just said. Right. And now, like I told her, you read your Bible, and I'm going to read my Bible, King James. And it ain't going to never change. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all add and take away from y'all, but I'm going to read what? King James Version say. The Charles Taz Russell started yeah. the Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm -hmm. Charles Taz <laughs> Russell. <laughs> Were you not scared to say that? Charles Taz Russell. Uh -oh. Okay, they, they ain't hear you say it one more time. They Charles Taz Russell started the Jehovah's Witnesses. To be a witness of Jehovah, you must meet the qualifications of the 12 apostles who were eyewitnesses of the things that Jesus did. Ooh. If you were not there to witness what Jesus did, you cannot be a Jehovah witness. What would you witness witnessing for in the 20th century? No, mm. they witness of what was said to them. Yes, <laughs> that's yes. what they witnessed. Yes, of. right, they right. Ain't with, they ain't seen Not, nothing. They, they, they saw nothing with their own eyes. They, they heard nothing. nothing with their own eyes. They're just going off what they were told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you are a witness, uh -oh. you are 
Fasten your seatbelts. Uh -oh. A false witness. Ooh. <laughs> hey, man, what's we that? are telling y'all the truth. Yes. And we backing it up with the word. Bring me the word and not what you heard. If you have no script, close, close your, your lips. lips. Amen. Bring me scripture. I don't hear all that other stuff, yeah. what you think and what I feel, and I don't like you. That's flesh. Mm -hmm. They that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. I don't care what bishop you bring. I don't care what apostle you bring. You set them at the table with me. I'm going to say, sir, where's your scripture? Well, I'm I ain't not talking scripture. I'm talking about Aristotle. Aristotle can't get me to heaven. I need right. to hear from Jesus. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> Behold, Matthew 10, 16. Behold, I send you forth as a sheep in the midst of wool. Yes. Be wise as a serpent. Harmless as a snake. Okay. As a dove. Dove. No, you can't be on this snake. They gonna get you. <laughs> right. the snake, it's a lot of them out here. Uh, right. The snake that I do like is a rattlesnake. Usually, let you know I'm over here. Right, right. Don't right. come mess with me. Right. <laughs> Taking that rattle. Now, I said all that to say this at the end. At our church, Union for Gospel Church, yes. we feed the hungry, we clothe the naked, and we house every Friday and Saturday at eight o'clock to eight in the morning. We feed them dinner at night. We let them sleep at night, and then we feed them breakfast in the morning. Those that are less fortunate, call me at 618-410-3966. If you have someone that don't have no where to stay. Now, I had one of my members come to me. Gonna bring, he said, Rev, I ain't going to do that to you because everywhere he go, they put him out. I said, you did the right thing, but I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Y'all say amen. amen. He amen. cared enough amen. for me because he already knew I was gonna throw him out. Yeah. I don't I don't have I don't have look, let me let me help y'all out. I don't have no sympathy for foolishness. Right, right. I had one, one lady come in there, she said, Me and my me and my man is stay here. They say you got shit. I said, No problem, man. Come on. I said, I need to check you. She said, What? She had alcohol. I said, Man, you can't come in with that. Yes, I'm gonna come in here. I said, No, you're not. I said, Let me see. The chief period. Oh, we, we, we're not going to stay. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> you got to have rules at your house. Yes, yes. yes. If As you for don't. Say that again. If you don't, they will destroy. Mm. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Negro. Jesus Christ, Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and believe in thy heart right. that God raised right. Jesus from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell was not made for you. It was made for the devil and his angels. Yes. But if you choose to live without Christ, you will end up in hell. Yes. I'm talking hell to hell. every religion that can hear what I just said. And it's scripture. Jesus died for our sins. Yes. So we can go to heaven. Now, those that don't want to go, I got a first-class ticket for you. You can take it. But I, I, I guarantee you, when you get there, you'll be like a guy said, "Don't go tell my brothers, don't come down here. God, yes, sir. Bring me some water and just put it on my tongue. Luke chapter 19. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is still saving. You, I'm talking to you. You're struggling with addiction. God can take away all that. All oh, yes. Of it. oh, yes. All of it. If you are willing to give it up. He can help you. He can, he can deliver you. You need deliverance. If I said something, listen to me. If I said something, it came from the word. A lot of people don't like Jesus. They go around talking about they do like Jesus, but the same ones that say, Hosanna, hallelujah for Jesus. The same ones turned around and said, crucify him because they paid him money to say it. The, the love of money is the root of all evil. And Jesus yes. said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. My commandments. So mm -hmm. do not say you love him if you're not willing to keep the commandments. Well, well, if you love him, uh, Dr. Quarles, before we close out, if you love him, why we can't do cannabis? <laughs> why we can't sell marijuana at the church? Oh. It's a preacher that's selling marijuana at the oh, church. Oh, mercy. Talk to me about that. Is God in that? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Even though God created it and grew it but it's not for the church stuff right oh right. because you know people got that mixed up because they throw it up in your face quick when god created that so we should be able to smoke that you know what i'm saying right but no that ain't 
what God created that for. People use things to their own understanding how they want to use it and go by. Right. But 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 it'll it'll bring a lot of money to the church. No, that's mm -hmm. what it'll bring food to your, your job. Church. Uh -oh. God said, if the man does not work, he, he does eat. not eat. That's Bible. That's Bible, sir. Yeah. Um. Uh. Drugs, se selling marijuana to get high, uh, just to bring money. God did not say go about it that way. Yeah. No. You but it's gonna to bring work. a lot of money to the church. Yeah, and bring, it's gonna hire. I'm gonna hire some people to farm it and raise it and get it up. And then he said, "Oh, by the way, I ain't gotta put on no brochure. All I gotta do is say we selling drugs. This church should be packed with with a whole lot of trouble, packed with trouble." Right, and that person who feel and think that way, they need to be very much delirious. Yes, to yes. think that kind of have that state of mind to think that kind of way. You know, you're not even helping the people. You harming the people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to help get people off of drugs, not put them on drugs. And if you suffering and can't pay your church or your bill, you need to go get you a job. Right. And, and <laughs> You and, know? Right. Don't look for no weed or cancer to uh, make uh -oh. money to uh, pay your church off. We Go to work, man. Uh -oh. Yes. I'm being yes. nice, but I'm just saying, go to work. <laughs> go to work. Be a man. Look. Work. Look. Work. I work. I work. <laughs> you work. We I all work. work. I look. work. Hey, we, <laughs> hey, look, look. This one pastor, I don't pimp my members and tell right. them to go to work and I ain't working. I work. Second Thessalonians 3:10. If a man don't work, he should not eat. Stop being lazy. Get off here. Well, praise the Lord. And go to work. Right. Okay. Right. Then your members are working. You work. We equally yoke. But just take it, kind of pimp you and everybody give me money and I don't do nothing. No, 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 no. I don't teach that in my church. We all work and we pay, get, take a tenth out of there, Malachi 3 8, and we pay our tithe. Church is doing fine because what? we teach the truth. Right. Yes. What happened to the late Ronald and Nancy Reagan? Remember, uh, Nancy said, just say no to drugs. Now we're saying yes to it. But government shall be up on the Lord's shoulder. <laughs> government ain't y'all. That's why they don't want you saying too much about Jesus. The government shall be on His shoulder. So if the government is gonna be on His shoulder, that's why they smoking dope. Mm -hmm. Cannot be with evil and run with God. Right. Yes. You gotta make up your mind. You know, if I'm sitting on the fence, I'm gonna hurt something. You straddling the fence. You gotta make okay. up your mind what you want to do and get delivered. The answer to all the things tonight, you. And myself or whatever I'm struggling with, we need to be delivered. The answer to that is St. Matthew 9.29. This come by fasting and praying. I didn't say fast for 40 days. You're not Jesus. That's just like somebody ain't never lived weight. You put on, give me 500 to live. <laughs> Don't you go out there and kill yourself. I'm going 40 right. days. Being right. Use right. the right. wisdom of God. <laughs> I do it an hour a day. You know, I do a fast an hour a day right. to help me stay spiritually strong. And I have received the baptism. Thank you, uh, uh, Miss Bishop, Mr. Clean White. Thank you. I was at his church, sir. I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Okay? I have the gift. So, you know, y'all, all this stuff about, well, you know, that's Baptist. They ain't going to get the Holy Ghost like us. They all go. I had one lady tell me, they all going to hell. God said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your young, your daughters and your sons shall prophesy. That's why she could be a prophet, not a pastor. You got to give me scripture. Ma'am, you can cut that out. You need to give me scripture. Don't give me what you think. I don't need your opinion. I need to know what God said about a woman trying to preach and do that. I need to see scripture. Now, if you ain't got scripture, close it, froze it, slap it. Okay. Right. I don't want to hear it. You know, I only can hear the word of God. I only hear the shepherd's voice, which is Jesus. And he told me in St. John 334. That he only called men to minister. Now they can be prophets. She could let me, she's a prophet. She tell me stuff before, and she said, Boy, if I was into that, oh, I'd be rich. Because she tell me and it come to pass. Women, you could be prophets. Okay, I ain't got no problem with that. But all this bishop stuff and yeah. this apostle right. stuff, it was 12 apostles. That those are the 12 he chose. Right, right. I ain't no, no, no not to be fun around okay. because um, mm. some of these women want to be 
the pastor want to be in charge, be in control, because they want to have some kind of power, a power authority right. over. You can't be an authority over your husband mm-hmm. unless he a wimp. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And if you got to run your husband, mm-hmm. it's something wrong mm-hmm. with that picture to me. That's right. Because that mm-hmm. ain't what the Bible says. Yeah. You know, if your husband, the pastor, let him be the pastor. Let him wear the pants. You mm-hmm. sit down and shut your mouth and, mm-hmm. and let him run it. Right. <laughs> you know, now if you have a problem with me, oh, well, you'll get over it. <laughs> you know, but you women, take your place. Let that man be the head. Stop trying to run the church, running people away from the church. Stop being right. ruling nasty to people like you better than them. Mm-hmm. You know, don't let this look fool you because I'm just human, just like you are. You know, but I know how to carry myself. I know how to present myself. I know how to talk to you. And a lot of y'all don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's why a lot of people don't want to come to church or respect the first lady or their husband. Men, stand up. Shit. Shit. Have a backbone. That's it. Right. Shit. Tell that woman, sit her tail down, and you be that man. Put your feet down. That's right. Stop being a wimp. I ain't gonna say the other one because I'm being nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, but That's stand right. up. She's right. See, the Bible says the only person to have the right to rebuke the members in the church is the pastor. According not the wife. To, not the wife. See, the wives running the church. That's why ain't nobody there. But let me say it again. The wives running the churches. That's why ain't nobody there. They looking for a man. They ain't seen one. Mm-hmm. You're looking at one. First Timothy 5, 17. The only one that has the right to rebuke openly is the pastor. He's the judge, like the judge in the courtroom. The pastor's the same way at the church. He needs to get it in order. The reason why stuff is going on, he allowed it. Right, right. He got brown street. Oh, well, praise the Lord. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we told, Prophet told you the truth as a female. Dr. Quarles told you the truth, but she's going to be receiving his doctors. We're going to close the service out. What, when are you gonna get your doctorate stuff? My uh, March the eighteenth. March the eighteenth graduation okay. ceremony. Or uh, what is the telephone number for people to reach you so they want to come and support you? Because I know you want people to come. You can reach me. It's area code 618-670-5700. six one eight six seven zero five seven one zero. My cellular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this man is blessed. I'm not going to say what he's going to get, but he's getting double for his trouble. <laughs> Amen. This has been the Sound Doctrine TV show. I will be letting you all know when we, I sometimes bring them with me, I'll be on a radio show where people can call in and ask questions because we're only going to give you what? The word. The word. That's it. We're not going to tell you what we think. Because like she said, I could say some other thing, but she said, no, I'm going to give you the word. Uh, uh, right, right. Lean not to thy Understand. But acknowledge the Lord and he shall lead and direct your path. Don't lean to your understanding. Acknowledge God. I love all y'all. Those of you. We love you. We love right. you. Call We're praying me. for you. We're praying for you. Those that were here and not be like Lot's wife. Amen. This has been the Sound Doctrine TV show. I want to thank my guests for coming. Prophet Gilliam, God bless you. Thank, thank you for God being so you. strong. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Doctor, yes, sir, for Reverend. coming. Thank you. And thank you for the big mega church God gonna bless you with. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, God bless you. Thank yes. you. Yes. We'll see you next time on Sound Doctrine TV. God bless. God bless you.